Welcome to today's morning report with me with Japan Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. Um, the market has taken on a little bit of a safe haven shift really uh, as the European session has developed. There was an element of consolidation that was forming um, as the European sort of took over and that sort of shifted more towards dollar strength and also yen strength, safe haven strength with gold sort of holding up as well. Treasury yields starting to sort of fall away. Um, let me show you treasury yields with the 10 year treasury just having sort of initially looking to push higher has fallen away as have the two year treasury yields and um, this is sort of coming as the most found support now this is interesting because normally the, the two run in a bit of a um, positive correlation but uh, just at the moment that's uh, it's not seeming to be the case but uh, this is I think um, why we're seeing equity markets also lower as well um, and you're seeing sort of a, a general sort of marginal safe haven lift today um, nothing too significant is driving this move I mean the dollar sort of corrected as you can see sh quite sharply in the last couple of days again nothing really drove that move you could sort of point towards the I mean the chaotic sort of nature of uh, Trump's presidency um, at the moment and um, markets obviously factoring in the political risk of the Euros, um, European elections coming up and uh, things like that but to be honest other than that there's not a huge amount that has um, driven this move um, but uh, there is a slight sort of move towards the negative side um, as equities have started to come off a bit today. Now um, in terms of um, what we're looking out for on the economic calendar today, nothing really apart from the um, UK retail sales. Wow, it's not meant to do that, is it? Okay, let's try that again. There you go. So, apart from UK retail sales at 9.30, um, it's expected to come in at 3.9% down from 4.9 percent so it's interesting that um, we've started to see the uh, inflation biting a little bit in the UK um, and uh, that's starting to have an impact on retail sales and that's expected to continue um, this month again so just starting to drop away on retail sales as this sort of uh, sterling weakness feeds into inflation um, as opposed to sort of being a benefit is now turning into a bit of a, a problem so um, that is a uh, that's at 9:30, and that could have an impact on the pound. So watch out for that. Um, and uh, that's the only real bit of economic data we've got out to look forward to today. So let's look at my chart of the day, which is the dollar CAD. Now I'm sort of looking at dollar CAD because I've drawn in this downtrend, um, which is a uh, sort of a couple eight weeks of uh, of length. But um, the market is putting pressure on this uh, 1:30 level time and time again actually in the last uh, few weeks but that level is holding and again that level held yesterday and bounced and uh, sort of bounced quite strongly and it's the bounce has continued again today now I think this is sort of just reflecting that the fact that 130 is a big key level for the market um, and holding on to that is important so you've got this move that's now testing this little downtrend this mini downtrend as part of the bigger downtrend but the mini downtrend is now being tested uh, today um, you would sort of point towards momentum indicators being sort of marginally negatively biased um, and uh, it, it, that could start to turn around I think if this sort of blue line of the, uh, of the downtrend were to be breached to the upside. Now that blue line currently comes in around about sort of 31.30, 31.20 and that is sort of also a bit of a, a near-term resistance. I'll show you on the hourly chart that the importance of that level. So this is that downtrend, but uh, 3120 uh, was the reaction high that we saw on uh, Wednesday the 15th. But also, as you can see here, it's a bit of a pivot, isn't it? it was also a resistance back from last week as well. So that is a key level near term, but that, as I said, that downtrend is being uh, sort of tested at the moment. If you started to see the hourly RSI above 70, and the uh, MACD lines starting to sort of pull demonstrably above neutral, then you could start to see a bit of upside traction, and certainly towards 130, But a break above 31.20 would complete also a little mini sort of base pattern. You would sort of arguably measure about 100 ticks really of um, of depth of that pattern uh, and project that higher. That becomes 32.20, and that would be pretty much in line with um, a retest of that 7th of Feb high which is this level here and uh, you'd start to sort of
contemplate possible larger base patterns as well so there is the prospect of this one starting to improve certainly if it can break that little mini downtrend first of all then that would um, be the first step along the way so the fact that we're still again holding up above 130 you've see, seen in the last few days despite the dollar weakness you've seen that the market holding up and um, the oil price sort of consolidating is not really that helpful um, for this uh, pushing higher but uh, certainly I think that the prospect of an improvement is possible um, so 31.20 is your key resistance there but uh, 31, uh, 1.30 big figure is a key key support so I wish you good luck in your trading on Dollar Cad, and I'll speak to you later thank you